All right, so I just got out of that coding interview that I've been telling all of you guys about. And unfortunately, I'll just come out with it and just say that, you know, I pretty much bombed that coding interview. Um, it's pretty tilting. I just got out of it like maybe like 10 minutes ago. 30, I don't even know anymore. But definitely one of the hardest interview questions that I've probably ever gotten, even compared to the one that I took in August. And it's pretty tilting to just to say the least that, you know, I feel like, you know, I walked into this with so much expectations. I walked into it with, you know, the expectation of I put in so much work in these past couple of days. I feel like I should be able to walk away with at least some sort of answer or, you know, uh, at least have given it a better try. And unfortunately, you know, with those two questions that I got, um, especially the last one, and I can't really talk about the context of both of the questions, but uh, they pretty much both kicked my ass and it's it sucks you know i i definitely fault myself for walking into it with uh, a high amount of expectations thinking that you know just because i went so far in on studying for this thing that i was just going to walk away practically unscathed but that's really not the case at all and i feel like i let everybody down I feel like I just hyped this thing up so much with the videos, the streaming, you know, asking for help and stuff. And in the end of the day, like if you looked at my answers, it probably have been like, yo, <laughs> this guy wants to be a software engineer, like barely did anything. Um, and that's not really entirely the case, right? That's just me being in my head. That first question, I definitely gave it a good crack and I came close to a solution, but it just none of them were really working. I couldn't even get any of the test cases to pass. So there was that and you know again so to preface it all i was given 90 minutes for two questions both were very very difficult that last one was a huge back end question where i was dealing with stuff that i've never ever touched with obviously never having done back end development at all going into it was very very difficult i didn't know where to start uh they said that i had access to resources so i used mdn docs to try to get through it but um that didn't work out way too well at all really so that one was just like a stare staring at a blank wall not really doing anything and that one you know i tried to do something to it but i couldn't really even understand i understood the premise of the question i understood what it was asking for but it, in terms of the implementation i didn't know what to do so that was kind of a bust and then towards the end of it i kind of just called it quits um you know i wasn't getting anywhere close to the answers that i wanted aside from that first question and just submitted it and knew that instantly you know that's just going to get overlooked and they're going to move on with different candidates so that one this this test this test is a bust and you know unfortunately i couldn't do what i thought i was going to be able to do i walked into it very very confident and just with that high level of confidence when things don't work out you know uh, it, it kind of shoots you down and shoots you in the foot so that's where i'm at right now i just wanted to make you know this video just talking about how how and what happened being a little bit transparent you know these are the kinds of things that we have to deal with um, not just as self-taught devs but as developers in general you know we go through times in our lives where we feel like we are so prepared for things and that we're ready to go and when you're in the thick of things and when you're put into the jungle sometimes you just don't walk out at all or you walk out more damage than you think you were going to be and that's again just where i'm at right now it, it sucks you know um again because i hyped it up i i felt like i let everybody down everyone was just rooting for me and it was awesome right like i'm i'm, I'm glad you guys are there to support but there's going to be these times where things don't work out things don't pan out the way that we think they're going to or hope they do and in turn, I feel like I've let everybody down. I feel like I let myself down, especially in the fact that I don't feel ready. I don't know if this is something that, you know, obviously I say these kinds of things right now, right? Like you're in the, you're in the emotions, you're starting to feel down, you are down, and then you start to doubt yourself. And, you know, the couple minutes after the test, when the submission went through, I, I really thought to myself, you know, is this something that I really want to do with my life? Is this something that I'm cut out for? Am I cut out to be a software engineer in any form or fashion? You know, and I like to think I am, but in times like this where the emotions run high and the self-doubt runs strong, is this something that I can even see myself doing? Of course, once I'm a little cooler, 
when I'm yeah, calmed down and time moves on, of course, I'm still going to believe that I can be a software engineer someday. Um, you know, from the few people that I've talked to, there's definitely positives that can be taken away from failing a test like this or just failing any interview in general. You know, you can, I see the weaknesses that I, that I have. I know what I'm lacking. I know what I need to be doing. There's a sense of direction that comes from this. There's a sense of awareness and realization that definitely comes from failing in the way that I did or just failing in general. And now I kind of have a better understanding of what my attack plan should be. I have a better understanding of what my study guides should be, what I should be looking at, what I should be focusing on. Um, so yes, there are positives to be taken away from this. But at this moment, I don't know if I'm going to be acting on them just because of how rough I'm putting myself through um, these kinds of emotions and the, this this current situation just because I really wanted it. I worked so hard for this specific test and I wanted to be as ready as I could be and just with the amount of work that went in it wasn't enough and there's no one else's fault but mine I appreciate everyone else's support I appreciate the amount of effort and help that people have been giving me um, in order to prepare for this test but for right now you know it, it wasn't enough from my end I didn't focus in as much as I should have and I wasn't prepped as as much as I should have been so um, <clears throat> Those are all mistakes that I can learn from and and get to look back at now, uh, but at this moment in time Failed that test bombed it and now we got to move on so What's next is more studying you know, we got to put in more work. There's obviously things that I'm lacking in and I cannot be focusing on building things as much as I wanted to. I need to be prepping for interviews because uh, these opportunities come few and far between for me. Being self-taught, you know, you're underlooked. You are the underdog as opposed to people coming out with computer science degrees, unfortunately. So not all the time is it that my resume or my application ever gets kicked up and we get opportunities for interviews. So we just got to double down on what it is we need to do when it comes to studying and interview prep and just be not even double but like quadruple times the amount of ready i was for this for this exact interview so um i'm sorry i let you guys down i'm sorry that you know with all the hype and with all the um ranting about the interview before that it just came out and worked out this way but uh, we'll get them next time. It sucks for sure. And I'm sure other people are going to go through the same thing. It's going to suck, but we got to learn to move on and keep on trucking. So that's what we're going to do. I'm going to take some time to just relax because the past couple days have been so gruesome in terms of the prep, uh, the preparation and just getting ready for this thing. And I think I've taken a toll from it for sure. Um, especially, you know, not being mentally prepared to deal with something like failing. So that's just something that is going to tilt me for a little bit. But nonetheless, life moves on. We have to move on as well. We can't just sit and dwell on the past. So that's what we're going to do. That's what happened. Unfortunately, I'm sorry I let you guys down again. Um, but hopefully we can learn something from this all together where um, failure is a huge part of being uh, not just a dev, but a human being. And it's a matter of how we deal with it and move on from it and learn from it. So let's learn from this mistake. I'm definitely going to be learning from this mistake, moving on and focusing on the next opportunity that gets handed to me and making sure that I'm damn well prepared for it because I'm not letting this happen again, not to this extent and not to this pedigree. So I'm going to make sure that the next time that an interview comes through, I'm not blanking and throwing a stare because I, who knows if the next time I have a, an actual proctor with me or an actual engineer watching me, this was just on my own on code signals website. So, uh, who knows? Let's be prepared. Let's get ready for it. But, uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'll see you guys on the next one. Peace.